Hey guys, this is Victor with HTC One Soft Modder. Today we're going to finish our conversion of uh, AT&T, in my case HTC One, to a Google Edition, Google Play Edition HTC One. You'll need to have S off on your phone, which was our last Soft Modder tutorial. If you used another method before, um, you can just go to that tutorial and follow the getting prepared steps on the computer and you'll also need to make sure your model ID is correct to check uh, you have to reboot into the bootloader and connect your phone to the computer mine's already connected you can either reboot manually or use the command adb reboot bootloader and when it connects again the command is fast boot. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, get var model ID. You see PNO seven twelve zero zero zero. That's the AT and T model, and also the Google Play edition model. So I don't need to change anything. I'll put a link in the tutorial uh, for how to do it, and I'll do another tutorial later because it is useful for being able to install over the air updates from other models such as a European one where they already have the 4.2.2 update but for now let's focus on this you don't have to do this until you're ready to flash the zip which I've already put into my SDK tools directory but I'm gonna do it now CD C colon backslash SDK dash tools. This doesn't have to be your SDK tools directory if you followed our preparation um, steps on the previous tutorial. But you just need to navigate to the directory where the zip is located. Anyway, before we mess with that zip, we need to change the CID on our device, which is what lets you install over there, uh, sorry, RUUs for your device, and that's a ROM update utility is RUU. For now, I'll type fastboot OEM read CID. This is the AT&T one, CWS001. The Google edition one is write CID. G O O G L 001. And now I can go back and read it. And it's changed correctly. Now, to install the RUU, the command is fastboot OEM reboot RUU. This will restart your phone and get it ready to install. It's like a special kind of recovery. Then the next command is fastboot flash zip and then the name of the file. I'll do it the easy way. I'll just copy it. And then paste. It's a decent sized file. It'll take a few seconds to send it over USB to your phone. You should know that with this update, you'll be erasing everything on your phone and you'll be installing a Google Play Edition stock bootloader and recovery. So you'll lose root, although it should be pretty easy to get it back if you want it. However, if you decide to root and install a custom recovery, the whole point of this is kind of ruined because you won't be able to get over the error updates. You'll need to have the stock recovery to be able to get over the error updates. Now you can still get root if you don't change your recovery. You just need to find a, there's a thing called OTA root keeper which lets you update and still keep root. 
but with a Google Play Edition device, it shouldn't be difficult to acquire root again if you need to. Now, I got this message saying it failed. That's okay. I'll just do it again. That's normal. Nothing to worry about. And as I was saying, you can still root and get over the air updates. Just make sure not to install a custom recovery if you don't want to have a bricked phone. It won't break permanently, but it's still good practice to never take updates if you have a custom recovery installed. Okay, now it's flashing. There we go. And I'm sure I'll do a tutorial on how to get root without changing the custom recovery because I don't think I can live without root. So let's see. Everything looks to be going well. Pretty soon we'll have a Google Play Edition device. And I'll show it off to you and everyone. This is a big file. but at least we'll know it's stable because it's the official HTC RUU. I think this is longer than the wait for S off, but totally worth it. I think we're almost done. TP I think is touch panel and it seems to have stopped. So should reboot pretty soon. When you do this you'll be able to see the loading bar on your phone. So for simplicity I'm just taking video of the computer for now. But there we go, it's done. It'll reboot and I'll just press volume down on your device to select reboot from the bootloader and reboot. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to SoftModder. And check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modder for any questions or download links or anything like that. Thanks again. Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the now stock Google Play Edition HTC One I have, which I converted from an AT&T version. This is the new bootloader. 
I uh, just gonna hit reboot so you can see the boot animation. This is the new splash, which makes me very happy. Much better than AT and T. And then this is the boot animation. Which isn't new because we've seen it before in the ROM that we installed to try to emulate a Google Play Edition HTC One. And as you can see, most of it is the same. There is the settings where you can see that this is running 4.2.2, Android kernel, I mean, sorry, Linux kernel version 3.1. 4.10 you can check for updates and that's pretty much it just wanted to quickly show you that we now have a stock Google Play Edition HTC One thanks again for watching